time on Business Equity and Opportunities to focus on an industry. We recently sat down with Shannon Taylor, CEO of Class Act Transportation, about turning an opportunity into a mission to provide transportation needs to the sports and entertainment industry. This is Business Equity and Opportunities, Industry Focus. My name is Shannon Taylor. Uh, I'm a Chief Executive Officer of Class Act Transportation. Uh, which now we're expanded operations to Class Act Transportation Indiana. And so we have a complete ground transportation company and we recently partnered with Wish TV um, is to do the transportation for talent uh, as needed uh, throughout the city and state. I sold actually cars in 2013 and I walked in and they said, sell me this pen. And I sold the pen in about I got the job instantly. And I sold cars for like about a year. And I just said, you know what? It's not for me. It's about owning my own business because I want to take care of the customer. And I saw, and, that, and at that time, that particular business of being a car salesman, it's customer service related. And so I knew right then that I want to help the customer and help people. I incorporated Classic Transportation 2014. I started one car, one client, as you know, it's word of mouth with anything. Um, and I don't forget uh, 2014, obviously, still a green pea, a little slow. And then I got a call from someone and they said, Eddie Levert of the OJs is coming in town for a concert. Uh, would you be able to pick him up? Sure, not a problem. Took care of that. Uh, I still hold this picture to this day of uh, Eddie A. Laverde. Very inspirational. Anybody knows the group of OJs, been around for a very long time. And then two weeks later, got another call about another celebrity. And it just kind of built on from there in 2014. And, you know, nearly 10 years later, we're still doing it. What surprised me most about the journey was uh, not giving up. Not giving up. Always being, uh, kind of like my slogan, I'm always a ride ahead, always on time, always giving to the communities, giving follow-ups, things like that. And so, uh, and I've always, I take a lot from my mom. And one of my moms said, you know, be, be disciplined. And so, uh, obviously, you know, a few years back, COVID came and uh, a lot of companies went out of business, it wasn't sustainable. And uh, I just kept the faith and I, I just called on individuals that I had served over the years and gave a service to and just, how are you doing? It's not about the job right now. How are you doing checking on you? And I just feel like, you know, checking up on people, keeping fostering the relationships because when there is no relationships, there's no business. If there's business, that's because you have relationships. So I hang my hat on that, just uh, foster and continue to foster relationships. I see growth here in the state of Indiana. I see growth uh, with uh, Hoosiers, uh, not only just the city of Indianapolis, but throughout out the state of Indiana and throughout the country. Uh, as many know, Indiana, Indianapolis is a sports town. Um, you have Purdue, you have IU, you have Butler, you have Valpo, I mean IUPUI, and uh, obviously uh, we have the greatest uh, race spectacle on earth here, the Indianapolis 500. And, uh, and I just see opportunity, opportunity. And uh, it has been given uh, through, you know, obviously grace for mercy and uh, showing up very, being appreciative of that. But the door is wide open and it's nice to partner with business that want to help you. And that's what kind of made me expand over to uh, Indianapolis because I see that uh, from a gubernatorial standpoint to business to business, whether it's small, medium, large, uh, with uh, diversity and inclusion, business equity, uh, small business. Uh, and I want to be a part of that. And uh, I think this is a good place to settle here. I'm keeping it positive and I want to continue to give back because at the end of the day what you want your legacy to be because you can't just keep all information and hold on all information it's good to share and uh, I'm, I'm about being that you know share and building but also listening listening uh, because if you can listen you can learn uh, and, and, and be open to advice 
be open to advice. You know, no one knows it all. No one gives it all, but I think being open, you know, partnerships are very important, inclusive. As a small business, I'm looking to grow, but most important of growth, being able to help people, community serve, that's important to me. Uh, helping communities, helping other businesses. Uh, if I know something, I know someone, whether the person that does uh, has a florist, a person that does fencing, a person that does uh, a window cleaning, uh, Share that information, share that information. You know, that's what I would want my legs to be, that, that, sh that Shannon Taylor of Classic Transportation, he was always sharing and giving information, helping one another, helping people. And I think that, that's just so important. Industry Focus is made possible by Circulus Digital Media. If you're interested in starting a business and you'd like to revisit any of our past segments, they all live at BEOshow.com, feel free to then share those segments with family, friends, potential business partners through Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and email. Go to BEOshow.com, find the video, then use the buttons right underneath. It's there.